Lisa, what happened last okay, night... Okay, we had sex, and now that your wife is back, you feel guilty. Is that about covering? I asked you that. Nothing happened, and as far as Robin is concerned, nothing did happen. We were drunk. It shouldn't have happened. Can we just... We need to leave it at that. Okay, relax, Patrick. Right? Your secret's safe with me. Hi. I need to see Detective Spencer. Sure, have a seat. I'll check if he's available. Great, thank you. Don't stop staring. Carly's gonna know it's a charade. Now, can you please try to look disinterested? Right, sorry, I just can't help it, okay? Steve has history with Carl. <gasps> Do tell. Gonna... Fine, all right, they went out on a date a few times, okay? And I'm sure Steve wanted to, to be more. Oh, so it only makes sense that she'd pick now as the time to reacquaint herself. Really? Remind me again why I'm not supposed to kill my wife. Because out on a date me. with Mr. Kendall. That seeing us together is getting to Carly. I can't believe you're letting her get to you like this. Where did all this insecurity come from anyway? Because for once in my life, I had everything I wanted. A wife, a family. The thought of losing them. Well, you're not going to lose them. Not with me here to help you get them back. How can I sweep you off your feet if I can't even keep your attention? It's not what you think. Oh, no, sure it is. You're trying to make your husband jealous, and you're using me to do it. I used to be a little better at covering. <laughs> Love will do that to you. You wear your heart on your sleeve long enough, and you forget it's out there. From where I'm sitting, it's clear you still love Jax. Yeah. But that doesn't mean he couldn't use a little reminder on what he stands to lose. You're a high-profile mobster, and sending you to prison would have made my career. And I won't apologize for being ambitious. However, I realize now that I may have let that ambition cloud my judgment, which in turn hurt your children. And for that, I am sorry. But it won't stop if you've been trying to pin Johnny's car bombing on me. I just came from the PCPD. Yeah. It's far more likely that the Lopez brothers wired the car to explode. It would appear you're off the hook. Wow. Well, that can't sit well with you, your career, you know, hanging in the balance Sonny, and all. I've, uh, I've seen firsthand the lengths you go to in order to protect your children. And for you to show up to Johnny's looking for your daughter witness an explosion which almost killed her in the same manner your first wife died. It, it must have been excruciating. So, um, I'm sorry if my accusations added to your pain. Well. your honesty. It looks like I may have been wrong about you. <laughs>